we learned a lesson a little bit in the second period. Um, you know, when you're up 2 nothing, you like to think that you could um, shut them down a little more, but they clawed back in. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's tough to remember the second period right now. It feels like so long ago, but I um, thought we battled hard. We did a lot of good things, obviously, in triple overtime, anything could happen. And um, they got the first one, but, um, you know, I think we're pretty confident going into game two, and it'll be a fun one. Brian, what do you think switched in the, from the first to the second? Um, I don't know. It's hard to think about it right now, to be honest with you. Um, they did have a few power plays, which changed the rhythm, rhythm and, you know, the five on three, obviously. So, um, you know, I, I don't think we were as assertive in the second period and hard on the four check. But, um, you know, all in all, I thought we, we played a good game. I think a lot of guys battled really hard. Um, a lot of gutsy efforts by a lot of guys. And um, unfortunately, just came on the wrong side of a, a triple overtime great hockey game. What did you think about, um, you know, the 2 nothing lead and then what changed it? No, I mean, like Shromi said, I think we, I mean, that's a good team we're playing and um, came with a little bit of a pushback and I think we uh, weren't maybe as sharp um, and um, in the second and, and um, they took advantage of the, the changes that they got and obviously the um, the power play kind of gave them a little life as well. But um, again, like Shromi said, it was a, I thought it was a good game, um, long game and, and uh, just move uh, move on to game two. You guys were, were both on against Crosby a lot, and he had a pretty good game. The line had a pretty good game. Was it a matter of you not having the puck enough in the offensive zone? You, you just were playing defense too much? Or I, I mean, players, you, know, you didn't think there was anything amiss? I mean, that's, you know, they, they're going to create chances, and you, you obviously, um, probably the best way to keep them from getting their chances is to have the puck and have some own zone time, but. Um, you know, it's it's a hard battle, and um, it's, I think it's a fun challenge to go against a guy like that, a line like that, and um, you know, expecting long series is going to get to know them a lot better. So um, again, we'll just move on and, and uh, get ready for game two. Ryan, what was it like to think you got the game there when Kako goes to the net and Beetle puts it in? And then... Yeah, tough. Obviously, you want those calls to go your way. I mean. Uh, you know, the game happens so fast. Obviously, he's not trying to run in the goalie or anything. And I thought it was a call that could go either way. So, um, you know, it is what it is. I mean, to look back on something like that now, I mean, it was a six or three overtime game or whatever. So, I mean, you could look back on many small plays during the game. Obviously, that one, um, we would like to go our way. But, you know, it's probably a 50-50 call. And they got it this time. So, Ryan, you feel like from the second period on, you guys, maybe your line in particular, maybe needed to be a little bit more straightforward uh, at times? Um, I thought we had a lot of chances, honestly. I think uh, I don't think we gave up too much. I think uh, I think we had probably could execute a little bit better in the Ozone, but I thought we had some good chances. And um, you know, they're a, they're a funny team to play. I think uh, you know after the first period, they started rimming more pucks, and our forecheck wasn't as good, and the ice kind of opened up. There's a little more space out there, so that's probably why I was a little more east-west. But um, you know. Like I said, it's a 4-3 hockey game. You can you can pick at a lot of things, but um, you know they got the one goal tonight that mattered, and like I said, we'll move on. When, when, you, when they had to change goalies there, is that, is that you know, what does that do for you guys? Is that an opportunity? Do you want to get pressure on the new guy as much as you can? I mean, how do you approach that? Yeah, I mean, you especially that far into the game, um, you want to test him, and, and um, he's been sitting there for a while, so. I mean, it's still a good goalie, but but probably tough situation to come in, and we, we just try to, you know, maybe put some more pucks pucks at the net and try to get some traffic. And uh, yeah. you know, I don't think it changes the the approach whoever plays, but I think it's a different situation for him to come in that late. But um, unfortunately, we didn't get one, and, and um, they got the goal. But um, I don't know. Again, it's it's uh, expecting a long series. It's tough tough games against these guys, so it's uh, it's going to be fun. I mean, he made like 80 saves or whatever it was. So obviously, he was good. I mean, uh, obviously, he's done it all year. He's our best player, and he showed it tonight. He made everything he had to do, and um, we couldn't get one for him, obviously. So um, we know he's going to be good for us every game. That's the uh, strength of our team, and he's great. Miko, what's the key to mentally moving on from a game like this? I think take a Take a look at the things that we did well. Um, you know, tighten up a couple of things, and 
just we we believe in each other in there. We trust each other in there, and and um, you know we're here for a reason, and we played a certain way, and I think that's um, I think we we talk about it a lot. I think we talked about it all year. Um, just keep playing our way, and and uh, you know that's uh, something we uh, we have to do for uh, for 60 minutes. But again, it's it's a good team that we're playing, so they're gonna get their chances. But I think just the way we uh, um, limit some of them, and, and um, you know keep sticking to our game plan, I think uh, that's uh, that's what we have to do to to move forward.